Good morning and welcome to chapel. It's Friday. We have these announcements today. This coming Wednesday, April the 22nd, is the last day to drop a full-term class. The online drop form is available in Pipeline inside the Registrar Forms section. This coming Wednesday, April the 22nd. Today, the SA has organized a virtual jersey day. They have invited Harding students everywhere to wear their club jerseys and to post pictures of yourselves on Instagram. So I thought I would wear this jersey today, a Harding jersey, 1924. Uh, as, I, as president, I don't want to show favoritism, and I also don't own a club jersey that fits anymore. So I thought this would be the perfect one to wear. So those are the announcements for the, today. As we finish up a week in 2 Corinthians, we come to a passage that has been one of the most helpful, one of my favorite passages in all of the Bible. In 2 Corinthians chapter 12, the Apostle Paul speaks of a special vision that he was given. And then he says this, 2 Corinthians 12, starting in verse 7. So to keep me from becoming conceited because of the surpassing greatness of the revelations. A thorn was given me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to harass me, to keep me from becoming conceited. Three times I pleaded with the Lord about this, that it should leave me. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Everybody knows what it is to have a thorn in the flesh. There's been a lot of discussion about what Paul's particular thorn was, and the truth is we simply don't know. But everybody knows what it is to have something in our lives that we plead with God. Please take this away. If only this were out of my life, I could, I could serve you better. I could do so much better. Lord, please take it away. And can we hear the Lord say to us, my grace is all you need. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in your weakness. And at the end, for when I am weak, then I am strong. Perhaps the perfect passage for this week, perhaps the perfect passage for this whole season in our lives as we're dealing with COVID-19 and what it's doing to our land. And there are so many things here where, that have caused us to feel that we're not in control. And we plead for something to be taken away. And yet we relearn the lesson once again of not depending on ourselves, but relearning what it is to depend on God. And we have to admit that when we are weak, then we are most spiritually strong. Let's bow in prayer. Oh Lord God, we thank you for the blessing of this day. We thank you, Father, for all the blessings that have been ours this week. And we thank you, Lord, that we're able to assemble in this virtual way for chapel each day. Father, we pray that you would bless us with a good weekend. Father, we continue to pray like Paul prayed for his thorn in the flesh. We continue to pray that you would remove this thorn of coronavirus from our land, that you would allow us to get back to what we knew before. But Lord, we don't want to be like we were before. Father, we want to be a people who have learned the lesson that it's when we are weak that we're truly strong. Help us, Lord, this day to have a song in our hearts and truly believe that your grace is sufficient for us. Thank you, Lord, for all you give us. Thank you for hearing our prayer. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. It's been good to be with you this week in chapel. May you have a blessed day. You are dismissed.